so hi so now let me just see on chater this slightly better in this position i have this making a video of his game i haven't asked him i'm making a video but let's see man first time i'm spectating my friends game he's good to spectate and only do commentary rather than playing it i don't know knight to d5 looks good this position and now after knight looks like a good move oh uh, wait Yeah, let's just see the opening happen till now. Let's just see from move one. So d4, d5, c4. He, he accepts it. I have six. I don't think so. It's it's right to capture it. But it's okay. Fine. Okay. So this is the game. So <laughs> happen till now. Rookie one. Bishop goes to b5 now. Bishop b4, yeah, good move. Pinning the knight, and now knight will come over here. That's a better position for black. Slightly. Let's see now we work, what he's gonna play. Let's see. She goes bishop g. I don't know. It seems like a mistake here. Um, why just takes this knight? Okay. After queen. Uh, yeah, it's a bad move. Definitely, our Chetan is now getting a big advantage. After he takes this knight. Definitely. Because now after this takes. Yeah, good move. Capturing the bish. Try capturing the knight on f3. I guess it's the right move. Bishop cross f3. Obviously. That was a good move. Always. After he takes your queen, you'll take his queen. Yeah, that was a good move. Definitely. That was the wrong move. Bishop g5. After you take on f3. Um, yeah. That was just a piece down. Definitely. Yeah, bishop takes. I think so. The best move is to capture the queen in this case. Obviously, you know, now after he takes your queen, now if he does capture your bishop, you're gonna capture his bishop. If he moves his bishop away, you're gonna save your bishop. Okay. Now attacks your pawn. Yeah, just capture his knight. So that works. Wait, does it work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just captured his knight. Um, see, now after he captures your knight, um, let's see. You capture his knight, he captures your knight. You you take that pawn, and now he takes your rook, bishop. Yeah, then he's, he's not. Probably if he takes back, then it's probably quite bad. Because then this knight comes here. Yeah, on the next move, attacks the bishop. Yeah, I think so. You should just capture this knight. Yeah, good move. Obviously, the best move. Capturing the knight. If he takes back, then knight d5 works. I don't think so he'll take, he'll take this, that's my guess. That's the move which I guess. If he takes back, obviously, just lose him. Oh no. If 
he does dig back. Probably he'll dig that. Let's see what he does now. It is a very interesting game. Definitely so much better for Chetan now. Let's see the what he plays. Yeah, he brings oh, he takes that now. Obviously this is winning now. Hitting the bishop. If he moves his bishop, you say knight d5 obviously. I think so that was a wrong move. But yeah, anyways. Everything was bad. See, I was the right, yes. Definitely a good move. If he takes over here, it would. So let me just guess that he's going he's gonna to probably do this. That's my guess. It is the best move, and now, now Chaitan is also going to move his bishop back. He's just a piece up. No, but that was an amazing tactic. Thank you, man. I got to record. That was a, that was a good move, Bishop takes F3. Good use of tactics. And yeah, Chetan is a good tactical player, man. I don't know if I would have seen Bishop takes F3 in that position. Definitely, man. I don't know if I would have seen that move. Obviously, that was a good move. Definitely. I have to agree. So, yeah, my move is right. I get bishop a5. Correct. Now, let's see. What did Chetan do? And I am going to guess this, this move. Obviously, he has to. That is, or, or, yeah, no, no, that, that was the wrong, yeah. no, undo it, easy, no, yeah, that's probably the best, he might move it somewhere here, really don't know, no way, he does do that, my guess was a get correct, bishop h5, bishop a5 and bishop h5, now my guess for white is he's gonna go c4, trying to kick that knight away, that's my guess. I guess how many moves have I guessed correct? I guessed about three, four moves correctly till now. So yeah, let's just sing C4. Although I don't know, he's not going to play C4. Yeah, now white is just lost completely. Definitely. In a, on any level. Oh my god, I guess the right move again. So I guess, let's see. Can go here, here. Knight, no, not any of these two squares. These two squares, because they're covered by the bishop. Here or here. I, I guess some tapen is. If you go here and g6. I think so. Um, that. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'll just guess this. Just guess this, because Chetan is a passive player. 97 is gonna be my guess. The Jaton just likes to wait. Definitely. So 97. Yeah, I just now winning for him. So good that I was able to record it. Bishop cross f3. Yeah. He goes b6. Hmm. So my move was wrong. Also, oh, actually, when I was. That's a good move still. Attack his bishop. If he takes your knight, you take his bishop. 
you can't take the, the pawn because it's protected by the knight on d5 so good move b6 but he takes it anyway obviously you know that's gonna be my guess because that's the only move and now it just lost here So now literally all the pieces are traded and now taking covers is important D. I don't know if Chetan will consider castling. Probably he will he will castle. I don't think so it's necessary. Obviously this move is gonna be right. No, okay. So now this pawn is looking strong. He just gets king d7. He castles. Why? What? Should be a bit careful here. I think so king d7 would have been better. Like you don't need to now give your king safety. Since all the king... No, I think so rook... Uh, rook... A, C, 8. So probably rook F, C, 8 would be better. Um, now... Because now you don't want the rook coming to the second rank. You want to counter that rook on c8 definitely. If you move your rook from a, then this pawn cup protection goes away. Obviously, it's no big problem, but yeah, but he must be careful now. I think so. King d7 should have been better. Obviously, it would have been much better. King d7. Now his king doesn't need any safety. So castling isn't the right move. I'm, yeah, it's good to commentate. Like you get to now point out your opponent's mistake because you just start telling the moves in no pressure. Basically, but castling isn't right. Let's see. See if Jaden plays this move, obviously. Look, FC8. Yeah, he's super chess. I like looking at his game because he's a good. Rook D8. Okay. Rook FD8, but then now what about this move? Rook C7. That's what I predict, and probably it's a strong move. Now. Rook on the second rank. It's lethal now because now if you go. If you get your rook over here, I don't know how do you. I can't draw arrows. My move is right. No, but that's not my move. Okay, well, yeah, that's the wrong move, probably. Rook c8. That's the wrong move because then this rook comes here. He's just gonna gobble up these two pawns. Probably castling was wrong itself. You want the king close to the pawn. Definitely. I have no idea. Yeah, look, the engine is understood. This position is about equal now. It was very good for Chetan, but I think so, yeah. His B6 was a mistake, probably. So he just moved his knight somewhere. This position is about equal since black has this very strong pass pawn. so bishop e8 now probably it's a good move i don't know if cheater will play it yeah i think so that that should be the good move bishop e8 probably preventing this pawn from moving forward he was at six now what about this move man d7 yeah i think so he should go d7 and now get his rook over here so he gets his rook his rook c1 
but yeah i think so yeah fine now the next threat is d7 but i think so now bishop e8 can come he has to play that otherwise he's lost completely let's see see what the engine what is the engine's evaluation so it's now better for white. Bishop e8 is the only move. Okay, so rook, rook ec1 was the wrong move. Probably should have just played d7. That, that would have been a better move. Now bishop e8 now can now stop the pawn moving forward. Now I think so it's equal. He should have played d7. It was just lost. Well, now the plan is rook c, rook c1, rook from e to c1 and then now rook c8. Now you don't have any way to stop it and after takes, then you take his rook, you take back with your rook. Okay, wait, I can't just show the anal analysis board. He takes, what about now, now you should go d7 man. Please now go, don't, don't recapture the pawn. Let's go d7. Okay, you know. At least now you have to play bishop e8. But these guys are not that good, man. Sorry, and Chaitan is a good player. The opponent is missing out on chances. At least now you should go bishop e8. Come on, I was wrong. It was g5. Now go d7, you idiot. At least now. Can you? Push d7. Wait, I just missed a simple trick. If you go rook. Yeah man, just go d7 you idiot. And sadly Chaitan lost. I'm so sorry my friend. I had to record this game just right now. So sorry. Yeah, you are a good player. I never said anything. Can if everyone makes mistakes. Even... Mongeus Carlson makes mistake. Mongeus, whatever his name is. What? Yeah, see, he's not able to see that it's winning. Or probably, yeah, Chetan is gonna take here. Why is it he going d7, man? d7 is always just... Just easily winning. And no, he's not going d7. No, why? He just feels that it's bad. T7 man, abhi to ja yaar, abhi to push kar, no yaar, he just isn't pushing D7 ever, push T7 for God's sake, oh, no don't, don't push D7, my friend will lose, it's good that you're not playing D7, it's really good. It's really good. If you play d7, then it's, it's just too good. But why, man? You should push d7 now. It's about. That's, that's the idea behind rook c7, right? To protect your pawns after you push d7, there's no problem. And now, how are you gonna stop rook c8 then? You have both your rooks covering the c5. It's almost over. I think so Chetan should go bishop e8 but then he would because he missed it so many times it was king h8 come on now go d7 at least what's the idea of king h8 i don't know what yeah man these guys are I think so now his idea is to get this rook here and he thinks that he can checkmate like Nope, he can't. Wall man. He has to get his second rook here. Is that he could checkmate the black king by just giving some sort of random checks? It's not gonna work. He's not gonna get checkmated. D7 was there. It was a winning move. But he didn't play it. Despite bringing his rook to C7. D7 was just lost, man. Nope, he didn't play it. 
And since Chetan is up a piece, it's probably now much better for him. So yeah, he was winning for white, but then he just played d7. Okay, now I'm just gonna guess. He's gonna do that, obviously, that's what he does. Nope. Rook g1 and check. So probably king f7 would be the best. This guy is an idiot, so he's gonna go king h1. And now Chetan is gonna move his bishop over here and make checkmate. Checkmate, yeah. Oh, he does play king f7. Oh, oh god, he should have gone king h1 and bishop f3 was checkmate. So now just go back. Now it just looks bad for for white. He just must miss d7 because never played the game. Let's see the value. Still so the cheaper. So it's king f7, okay. Thankfully. I guess king f1 because I thought he was an idiot. He never played d7 ever. He was like there for so much of time, but he just didn't play it. Why? Like you're supposed to push your fast pawns. You have to win the game. Come on, you're a piece down. No, you're gonna win by just exchanging pieces. Okay, so now let's just see what is gonna happen. I want to cover this entire game. It's just fun commentating on games of other people. Obviously, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> now I think so, yeah. Now I think so. This will be his move. Okay, now it's Chaitan's move. Mm -hmm. What is he gonna play? Yeah, good move. I think so. It's better. If it's the right thing for him to exchange. After this rook takes back. That's what's gonna happen. Then now rook over here. Now it just lost because after pawn take. So rook d8, then d7 with the threat. Then king at 7 probably. Threat of rook c8, then king at 7 probably. Hmm. And after rook, so now. Then it's equal. And then it's winning for black. Now white can just get his rook over here, gobble up these two pawns. gets his rook here yeah that's also a good move now it's threatening checkmate in one now i think so bishop g6 would work probably yeah g6 is a good move now you can just get your bishop here attack that pawn okay he takes now what about this move what's wonder I don't believe in rook takes. See. Yeah. But no, yeah. Now, if rook c8 comes, then rook d7 and threatening this and this. Now, king, king can't go anywhere. It's just bishop e8 is the only move. And after rook takes pawn, takes bishop. And yeah, it's lost for, for black. Good game, but it just lost for him. JJ Rookie is winning. JJ Rookie. Good name, JJ Rookie. And my friend is gonna lose probably. But I don't know, he's been like an idiot. He's missed D7 for all this time. So, yeah, finally plays the good move. Off. Off. Taking with the pawn. Now this pawn is quite dangerous. So now bishop e8 would be a good move. Preventing his rook from coming to this square. Okay, he goes rook c8. Now rook d7. It's about game over for him. Yeah. I don't know now what is he gonna do. Probably bishop e8 is right now the only move. That's what Chetan is gonna do.
he has to do bishop e8 now he's just down a lot of pawns yeah, but now rook d see let's hope he does that yeah he does probably take this pawn now gonna probably take this pawn Chitter probably panic now rook takes this pawn hmm. probably king g7 yes but then now rook takes here e6 now these two pawns are just deadly this and this probably chitter is gonna give a check I know how he plays, he loves giving checks. He's also winning that pawn. That's a better move at least. At least you're giving us. This might just be a draw man. Yeah, it is a draw probably. It is just a draw. At least at this level it is a draw. Probably at the grandmaster level, white would be winning, but I don't think so. Like white seems like a very bad endgame player, so I think so. Rook c8 was wrong. Obviously, it's much easier for me to do commentary rather than actually playing. But yeah, rook c8 was the wrong move. He missed. White was winning for a long time. Now Chetan is very low on time obviously. Yeah, he goes there at least. So. King G3 is good. Yeah. That's right. Now let's take this pawn. Now his rook is tied to the defense so he was here. Okay, fine. I think so taking that pawn was better. Now almost a resigning position. But I don't think so it's worth resigning because because you never know what will happen in chess game. You never know till the game is over obviously. I don't agree with this move. Yeah that's what yeah, now at least take this pawn, man. <laughs> what were you doing now? Okay. What is his plan, man? I'm not getting it. Okay. So he was gonna go f6. e3. Now it's winning for Chetan. Easily it's winning for him. So he should have taken that pawn. Now just go rook a8 man. At least you have to keep that rook away from that guy. It's lost for him. He doesn't know how to play any games, that's why probably. Now it's lost. There is just too much of pressure. Chetan is gonna put. So now the best move is just to give. Sacrifice your rook. Now push a2. And there is literally no way to stop it from queening. Literally no way. Sacrifice your rook man. It doesn't matter. See if Chetan finds that. A good game by Chetan. Thought he is gonna lose. But he always just does his comebacks. Let's see if he finds rook g2 check now because now after that this pawn is unstoppable whatever you do but then yeah let's see if he yeah then he can go e7 and then now the k1 check probably it won't be that good for him as well because his opponent would be a rook up and both of them have a queen so you don't know yet let's see 
I really want to complete this game because you still can't say who's gonna win. Yeah, I really just want to complete this game. Recording of this game. But I don't know, my parents never let me record a YouTube video without any interruption. Yeah, let's see. Now what's gonna happen? It's been a very long game. Till now. Now you just need to pay attention to the time. I think so, I, I gave him the wrong move. Rook G7 check. Rook G2 check, it doesn't work. Yeah, it might be winning for white now. It's not winning for white. It is not winning for white. Well, it's winning for black. Rook G2 check actually finishes the game off. See, Chetan finds it. Come on, yeah. Rook G2 check works, bro. Yeah, I'll just be back. In a few minutes. Uh, what happened? A lot of stuff happened. I think so. no, now he's still winning, yeah. Obviously. Why did he push his pawn? He should push his pawn. Why did he give this check? He's with this. Yeah, but still, it's okay. It's losing now. The black has just completely lost. Black is completely lost. Now just push. Yeah. G2 and it's just lost. It's lost for black. Sorry. It's lost for white. Good game by Chetan. And he made a mistake. Yeah, both of them played quite inaccurately. We all know. White was winning for such a long time with D7, but he didn't play that move. He played rook c7 but he didn't go d7. We have no idea why. He didn't go d7. Now, now it's almost lost. It's almost lost. Now it's almost lost. Yeah, I guessed 18 out of the 40 moves, right? So JJ rookie is losing. It's lost, completely lost. There is no way of progressing. Like whatever you do is gonna promote the pawn to a queen. Yeah man. I give this check. Yeah, I just think so clean yet. No. But yeah, you can still keep on checking. King E8. Now I think so. The best move is to give this check again. I just think so that I should. He should just get the king away and just prevent checks. Not get checked. Because after you, till you get a queen, it's lost. Completely lost. Should not be scared. Yeah. Yeah, after you get a queen, it's completely lost. For, for 
for black it's completely lost yeah was a good doing commentary on this game super chest study as the right as this good is a good player see look at him man what a good game well he played the wrong move now chatan can this promote to a queen i don't see why is there any check me oh yeah i tested i think so he should let's see man what yeah it's still dangerous obviously now chatan is under huge time pressure good move by this guy still man it's still not over Wait, let's see how is it going to be checking you just so you should just promote to a queen yeah i don't i don't get it like okay yeah I think so yeah that was a better move because probably rook d1 check and after the king moves but yeah i still don't see yeah you can just keep on checking okay but yeah now this is most precise move rook and now king c7 Now you can just check mate him. You know it's still tough. Okay, he does do queen. Let's see now. King is a little bit unsafe, but then yeah, it's losing. Still, it's very bad. Yeah, I think so. King f seven, king f eight. What can he do? Off he check over here. Then king g eight. Okay, that's that's his only move. At least survive this game. To even at least survive this game. Okay, there's no other way. Okay, yeah, it's lost. It's completely lost for white. Yeah, now king probably should come here to g8. Yeah, now after king moves here. If he if he now gives this check, I think so. He will resign now. He can resign at any time. Chaitan never resigns, but I don't know if many people on Chess dot com do resign. It's now it's his word resign. Yeah, how this king will just come to a chat. Let's hope so. Chaitan plays that. But if you um, yeah, good move. It's over. It's over. Well played, bro. It's over. It's over. You win, Chetan. Well played. Yeah, now this. There's no way he's gonna promote to a queen. Yeah. The checkmate. Now this. Okay. Why did you do that, man? That was a more clearer way to win, but still, it's fine. Okay. Now let's see. Okay. Yeah. Still is okay. Now you've just lost your rook. It's a lost position. Yeah, yeah, it's lost. Good move. Now you'll just take the rook in the next move. It's lost. And now the pawn is of no threat. I think so, rook. Yeah, now just take with the king. Chetan will find that. I know he's a good enough player to find that. That is his idea behind that move. But he still isn't taking. What? Let's take the rook with the king, man. Man, he still isn't playing as good as I expected to play. Why not? Not understand. Okay. Okay, fine. Still works. Uh, now you're a queen up. It's 
still winning now. But yeah, he still didn't play the best way. He could have just taken with the king. It was lost because the queen was protecting. Okay, now it's lost. It's lost completely. Now nobody can lose from this position. He, he wants to make two queens. That's his style of winning the game. Okay. Okay, fine. Yeah. I know now I'll just probably. Yeah, checkmate now. Let's see if Chaitan finds that. Yeah, checkmate. Good game, bro. Good game. So, yeah. Bye, everyone. What a good game by him. Bye.